Hey guys, Tim here. Today we're going to do our cheap, cheap, cheap build or thrifty value oriented something or another build. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's quickly go over the parts and why I chose them. Part of this build is going to be about reusing parts that you might already have. And part of it's going to be about choosing good quality things that are value oriented. So the first thing we got here is the Fractal Core 100. Next we have the EVGA 430W. After that we have a board that I don't know that I would buy again to be really honest with you guys. It's the Asus A55BM-E. I have some Kingston Hyper X uh, 1600, I believe, that I scavenged out of a machine that I upgraded the RAM in. I have a brand new uh, 250 gigabyte hard drive that again, I scavenged from a machine that I upgraded. We have an A4 uh, 6570. So, I'll try to time lapse some of this as we go along. Here comes some music.
Okay, so if that isn't the longest easy build you've ever seen, I don't know that it's taken me that long to build a PC since I was 14. Um, this is what happens when you build a PC on three hours of sleep in the last 48 hours. So sleep, then build PCs. It's a great case to build in. Um, the only thing that I actually don't like is the motherboard. I would never buy this motherboard again. And that's the first time I've ever said that about an Asus motherboard. It's frankly, no matter whether it's cheap or not, it's cheap. It's just a piece of junk. No USB 3.0. Like the, the back uh, panel thing you'll see in the very beginning of the video. It's not the case that's causing me to struggle like that. It's because it's a flimsy ass piece of steel back panel piece of junk. Other than that, I think it looks really nice. Uh, the EVGA power supply, funny enough, is probably the thing I like the best other than the case because it's just got a nice powder coat on it. It looks good. We'll see how noisy it is. And we'll see you next time.